Well, these were going to be new stools, but they're going to be open to all. Um, many of the state evaluations are repeatedly saying that charter schools are accel uh, accelerating. I don't say they're creating segregation. We already have segregation in our nation's schools and across many sectors of our society. I think it's only the military that's actually becoming more integrated over time. Our public school systems and healthcare systems, all these sectors are becoming more segregated over time. What we've seen with charter schools, they're accelerating the process of resegregation of our society by race, by class, by language of instruction. Uh, since 72, uh, uh, we've had uh, you know policies in our nation to integrate children with disabilities. Now with charter schools, we're seeing more and more segregation of children by special education status. We have about 48 charter schools in the country that focus only on children with special needs, children with uh, severe or moderate disabilities. Most charter schools have uh, served only children with moderate disabilities and very few of them relative to the district schools. So we're seeing acceleration of segregation there as well. Uh, in terms of language of instruction, we see a few schools focusing on bilingual instruction. They have high concentrations of ELL students, English language learners. Most of them have very few or none. So charter schools, whether it's intentional or not, you know, the charter schools say it's not our fault. We're not, co we're not causing segregations. Parents self-select, and that's true. But when we, the research has shown also the way that charters market themselves, um, they facilitate uh, parents self-selecting to uh, all, all white schools or all black schools. Many people, like in my state of Michigan, people said the charter schools, they're going to create white flight, middle class flight is what they said. We found that's true. But what we found was more common was children in African-American centric schools leaving those somewhat diverse schools and going to schools with high concentrations of just black students. Latinos leaving the, the district schools, going to Latino schools with very high concentrations of just Latino uh, students. So we're seeing a self-segregation by all groups. Um, so it's, it's something that we're seeing across the nation. Um, research we did in 2010 looking at a national study on charter schools, we only saw two, a, one quarter of the charter schools had populations in them that were similar to their districts in terms of race and social class. And when I say social class, I mean the percent of free students that qualify for free and reduced lunch. Only one quarter of the schools were similar. And by similar, I mean they were within 10 percentage points. Uh, if they're less than 10 percentage point difference from their districts, we said that's relatively similar. Two thirds or three quarters, I'm sorry, three quarters of the nation's charter schools are either segregated of white or segregated of black, segregated of high income, segregated of low income. Um, and that's the picture that's emerging with charter schools. So they're open to all, but also we also see that, especially uh, the schools end up being uh, mechanisms for accelerating the segregation.